Hi everybody, Maria here. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, I am just here to share with you some stuff that I have. I have been collecting some bee stuff for a little while now, and I am gonna do, um, I just think for the next month or two, I'm gonna be working on some bee stuff. And of course I'll do other stuff in between, but um, I think I wanna make a journal and some cards and perhaps um, a swap. I don't have anybody that, <clears throat> I don't have anybody who's asked to swap with me or anybody that I've asked so far, but I'm hoping that maybe I could do a spring swap with maybe bees and butterflies. So I thought I'd share my stash of what I have. Um, this is a very large um, bee and flower die cut that I made. Um, I didn't mean to make it so big. I cut it on my silhouette cameo, but I thought it was beautiful. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I have a bunch of die cuts and stuff that I made that I will share with you guys in a minute. I have a couple of these plastic um, Hobby Lobby um, containers full of yummies so I'm going to share with you what I have in these so in the first one I have this paper pad I have a couple of paper pads um, they, this one is called nature's garden beautiful and this is by crafters companion and I when I saw it online I absolutely fell in love with it and I'll just do a really quick flip through this is not a new paper pad by any stretch but it is gorgeous the paper quality is wonderful this is a blue, in case my camera's not picking it up right. And it's just so wonderful. I love how drippy the honey is. Um, these are way outside my normal colors. You guys will know if you watch my channel, but I think it's fantastic. I love this page. I think bees is such a beautiful theme. I love these. I love, wait, I passed it. I wanna show you guys this one. This one, I love this one. I love this one also. So you know, there's many beautiful things that can be done. And so there's that paper. And then I got this, um, this is a wrapping paper. And um, I got this in a package from Kat. Um, and then I have some of this, it was in there as well. And I thought I could use this like in a journal. I have, just pull all these goodies out. This is gonna be fun to put back away. I have this washi and I don't know where I got that from to be honest. I was in a swap and I want to say it was hosted by Tamika. I'm pretty sure it was. And the person who um, was the swapper, who, or I don't know, swappy swapper was Abby. She's Cup of Abby on um, Instagram and she is downright amazing. And um, I kept that to remember. Some of the things I got in the swap were this and this and I thought this would be lovely in a journal each piece separately to put in the journal so that was good amazing actually um this and I think this is meant to be a gift card holder but again you could put like that in a journal and put journaling on that these wonderful cute little bee bears these beautiful bows um she also made these fantastic crocheted hearts so all of that, and then this bee bling from Hobby Lobby, and then more bee goodies from Hobby Lobby. So I've got two of these, these are charms. Obviously I won't need two. Well, it just depends on how much I do, I guess, right? How many different projects? The stickers, the bling, more bling. These are like uh, kind of rhinestone-y stickers, not too chunky. I found this in my stash and I just thought, cause it's B, I could add another E or I could just leave it like it is. And you could paint those, they're wood. And then these flowers, these flowers are a little bit of a different kind of texture. And I thought they were kind of cool. They're almost like, um, I don't want that leaf to come out, but I don't know if you guys can tell the different kind of texture kind of, but I really like them. I thought they were very pretty and that they fit this theme really well. That leaf is gonna be, not fun to get back in, but that's okay. All right, so that was the first little tote and I'll be right back with the second one. Okay, in my second little container, I have this. And if you guys watched my video last week, um, you're gonna see this first card I have. I, oh, and these bee charms, I, that must've come out of my other one. Okay, and then anyhow, you would have seen this, sec, this little collection that I got at Hobby Lobby. So we're, I'm not gonna go through that whole thing again. It's my just the video right before this one. And then one other paper stack from Hobby Lobby, which is very cute. And this one also works in the color selection as the 
Crafter's Companion one, same colors. Um, this one has blacks also, which I think is lovely. See, they got the blue in there, got peach as well, which I love. So it's got, it, it crosses over in colorway. So this is a really pretty paper pad. It also coordinates with the um, other Hobby Lobby stack, which is um, super thin. This one's a nice weight. So I think this is probably about 65 pound. So I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Lots of gold foiling as well. So pretty. So that is in that container. And then I did a lot of die cutting. So what I have is, let me show you the actual physical die cuts. So I have this, this is from online as well as this. And then these are all Crafter's Companion. So this one is a stamp and die. So many of the ones I have are stamped and dies and some are just stamps and some are just dies. So you get this side and you get this side. And you guys, they have great sales. Like right now this collection is on sale on their website. And this one, which is a stamp and die. This one, which is a stamp and die. This is just a die, it's fantastic. And also a die. This one's just a stamp, but it's a layering stamp, which is super cool. So you just do all the different layers. Um, many of the stamps have a sentiment as well. This one's a die. This one's all stamps, all sentiment, and also all sentiment. And then what I did is I, I decided to cut a bunch out. So um, I did some that I did um, coloring with alcohol markers and some that I did with watercolor. I'm not as good at the water coloring yet, but these are um, done with both pro markers and the uh, markers that Crafters Companion has, the Spectrum Noir. I love this one, this one is so fun. So that's what I did there. Those are the alcohol markers. This is the um, watercolor, and like I said, I, I'm not good at watercoloring yet, but I have fun trying. So we got some bees, we have a little, you know, it's the same stuff. I do like how that one came out and I love how this one came out. So those, I did the same stuff, but I, you know, some of it didn't come out as good, so I didn't keep it. So there's that bunch. So I tried to keep in with the colorways of the paper that I knew I had. Okay, and then these can be embellishments. I can turn them into paper clips, all kinds of stuff. So let's see. Then this is a, just an idea of what I did. So I took one die and I would say, okay, I want to know, I will probably use these on either cards or um, in a journal or whatever. So that's what I did. So I picked colorways that I liked. I wish I had done some blue, but obviously I still have the dies and stamps so I can do whatever I want. So that's kind of what I did. Um, these I cut on my Cricut Joy. So, you know, I just went to town, had a little fun, trying some different die cuts. Okay, so there we go. Okay, one of the other die cuts I did was the big one. I did some of each. So there's the big one, just so you can see, and I won't, I won't pull apart all of them, so you can see. Basically the same color way. Um, here is how this one looks. This is the huge, Oh, I gotta pull those out because otherwise they're gonna come apart at each other. There we go. I think it's beautiful. And like you can layer them too, you know, once you put them on your page or whatever. So I just think that's a lovely die cut. So this is some that I cut out on my Cameo and some of the other dies. This is such, it's such a simple and pretty die cut, I think and it cut very cleanly and neat. I cut that in a few. <clears throat> this one actually just cuts into the paper. It was this one and this one. They cut into, so I cut around them. Just did a couple each of those. This one's gonna make a nice pocket of some kind. And then these, I cut these on my Cameo. Love that heart one. This is that one that's a layering stamp and I just did one of them. And then again, on my Cameo, I love this paper I found in my stash. It's a matte gold foil kind of thing. All on my Cameo. I love how delicate and intricate the wings are there. And then this is the same as that one that I had at the beginning, the black one, but I made it smaller in gold. And then I kept some of the little pieces in between that cut out. 
And then last but not least, just some of the little um, ones that I made layered. And I don't, you know, I don't know that I'll use all these, but I just want to have stuff to work with as I go. So I made a hive. I think it came out so pretty. I made a couple of small layered bees. That's this guy right here. And just some different fun paper. And then I made this and I made this also on my Cricut Joy. This is so pretty. It's so many layers and it's so pretty. And it really took no time to put together. So anyway, you guys, that's it for my bee themed stuff that I have for now. And I may mix some butterflies in, I'm not sure. And definitely some flowers. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and that you got some inspiration. And I hope you guys have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.